people one the worship session was powerful welcome back um if you're just joining us this is our august preservation and communion service today's the first day of august we are grateful to the lord that we have seen the we've entered the new month and i prophesy to you watching me right now or that watch me later in the name of jesus christ you that the, the, the lord has brought you in this faith to this first day of august we make you see the end of August in the name of Jesus Christ. In fact, you will see the end of this year. This year will not see your end. The month of August will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. The most of August will prosper you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please um, don't forget um, to get your communion uh, substance um, readily or, or, or handily around you because shortly after this word, a brief, brief minute now, We'll go into prayer sections and also get into the communion and the Lord is going to meet your needs in Jesus' mighty name. All right, I want to speak this morning, briefly what I titled, The Products of Grace. The Products of Grace. I'll take my text from Genesis chapter 6. The book of Genesis chapter 6 from verse 5 to verse 8. And I'll read from New King James Version. It says, then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intent of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth and he was grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man. Mark this word. The Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created. From the face of the earth, both man, beast, creeping things, and the birds of the air. He said, For I am sorry that I made them. God was sorry that He made man because of man's wickedness and intent of man. And verse 8 said, But Noah found grace. In the eyes of the Lord. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Don't forget what we just read right now was, was a, a situation where men were wicked. Where wickedness grew on the face of the earth. And men, the, the intent of the, or the thought of men were wickedness. And God was angry with men. And God repented why he created men. And the Bible says, God made up his mind to end the, 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 the human race and also the animal race. He said he wants to clear men of the earth. And the Bible says he wants also clear beds, crippling things. But in verse 8, the Bible says, but a man called Noah found grace. God wants to destroy every man. God wants to destroy every man. But yet, one man, God has made up his mind that every man should go. But yet, one man, God has made up his mind to destroy man. Man, I mean man, no one is accepted. But the Bible says, but one man found grace. One man escaped the destruction. I prophesy to you this morning, this month, every destruction that is lying on wait for you or, or either any member of your family, in the name of Jesus, you will escape them in the name of Jesus Christ. One man escaped. One man was exempted. One man. Why? Because he found grace. This May, may the grace of God speak for you this month. This month, may you experience grace unlimited in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. A major difference between people on earth today is the grace of God upon their lives. The grace of God upon the life of people on earth today is the major difference. So the difference between a man and another man is the grace he carries. I had my mentor, Pastor Lazarus, the preacher on person years back. He said, all flesh are not the same. When you see your fellow man walking, 
don't, don't be foolish. You, may, you are not the same. He may carry what you are not carrying. I had my friend told me this year. He said he read a, 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 um, an article on, on the internet about Pastor Chris Oeklomi. A man who did an online program and over 3 billion persons watched it. He broke record of last World Cup. And the man said, is that something if he's following this kind of man or he's following something bigger? Grace is what differentiates men. The Bible says, all you are getting, get wisdom. But I can say, in all you are getting, get grace. Grace is what makes flesh different from under flesh. Hallelujah. The grace of God is what makes the difference. And I pray for you this month. You will see the difference that the grace of God will make in your life. You will experience the grace of God like never before. If you hear me shout and amen like thunder. Now, looking at the account of Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 9 and 10. St. Paul wrote here, he said, For I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle. I'm the least. I came last. I'm not meet to call apostle because I persecuted the church. But pastor say, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. Ah! So Paul told us what made him different. Even though he came last. Even though he came from what to look like the back door. But the Bible recorded that St. Paul wrote half of the New Testament. A man that came last. The Bible said that the face shall be the last. It is not just a mystery. It's a that for that to come to pass, you must carry grace. St. Paul told us here, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. Child of God, you need grace. You need grace. You need grace. And I prophesy to you, that limit, that, 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 that dimension of grace you have, not, you have never enjoyed in your life, in this month, you will enjoy that grace. The grace of God will make way for you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a big amen. amen. Now, what was the implication of this scripture right now? About Paul. It, it, it's telling us something that with the availability of the grace of God, your position in life is immaterial. That's what this place tells us. With the, with the availability of the grace of God, your position in life is immaterial. When you start, it does not matter as far as grace is available. Ah, your family history is, and your background does not matter as far as grace is involved. Your qualification and your CVs does not matter. Your past mistakes does not matter. St. Paul came last. It doesn't matter when you started. So he came last, so he started last. But yet, you overtook. Because the availability of grace is what makes up. I don't look, I, 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 I don't care you watching me right now, listening to me right now. You are saying, Pastor, it's like I've wasted my life. No! And if one day say that, when you wake up, it's your morning. It might be 60 years, it might be 40 years, it look like you have wasted your life. When the grace of God step in, it doesn't matter. As far as the grace of God is available, your history. When you started, your qualification and your CVs are immaterial. Your past mistake does not count. St. Paul was one who, were, who, who went about killing the church. Yet he came. So long grace is involved. When you started, is immaterial. So long grace is involved, your CVs are immaterial. Grace is a different maker. And in this moment, I speak unto your life. Grace will manifest. Grace is the different maker. Now let's look at the product of grace in the life of Noah as we read in our scripture. What was the product of Noah? Few things about one or two things that line that we saw from there, they'll round up, they'll go straight to the prayer section. The product of grace as we saw in the life of Noah. 
Number one product of grace I saw. Don't forget we already. The Bible said that that God but that Noah found grace. Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord. So what what did the grace that Noah found did for him? Number one, the grace of God make made his case different. The grace of God made his case different. How? The flood that sank others were the same flood that lifted Noah. Ah, I thought you were hearing this. Because of the grace of God upon Noah, because of the grace and the favor that Noah found before God, what sank others was what lifted the ark he was in. I prophesy to you in this season, uh, the thing that sank others will be what will lift you up uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible says uh, that when men say, shall say there is a, a casting down, uh, we shall say what there is a lifting. They swore, they, 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 they flood, swallowed everybody. Swallowed the house, buildings, trees. Yet, the same flood that swallowed others was what carried Noah for over 40 days. I speak to you, in this month of August, may you obtain uncommon and unlimited grace in the name of Jesus. It is grace that makes your case different. The grace made the case of no difference. Let me tell you again. The grace of God will make your case different. From your family challenges, the, case of, the grace of God will make your case different. Then. From whatever pandemic, from whatever attack people are going around, around your life, the grace of God shall make the difference in the name of Jesus Christ. It is the grace of God that makes man to stand out amongst his contemporaries. It is a grace. And that grace you will receive. It is the grace of God that makes a man to stand out among his contemporaries. Quickly, number two, product of the grace we found here. Number two was preservation preservation. And God has guaranteed you all this season, preservation. God has guaranteed you and your family, divine preservation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a big amen. Noah was not permitted to be drowned by what drowned others. He was not permitted to be sank by what sinked others. He was not permitted to be killed by what killed others. He was not permitted to be swallowed up by what swallowed others. The same grace is coming upon you. What swallow others can never swallow you. Somebody shout a big amen. What kill others can never kill you. In the name of Jesus Christ. What sank others cannot sink you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It brought preservation. And let me tell you something here, child of God. The preservation grace was extended to his household. It was extended. The reason why we need grace in this season, because when you contact this grace, it is, it is also extended it was one man. It was one man that found grace. Yet, over six persons were saved. The Bible says his sons and their wives. The grace you will receive in this season, may it be extended to your family members in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible speaking in Genesis 3, verse 17. It says, And behold, I myself, I am bringing flood on the earth to destroy from under heaven, all flesh, in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you. And you shall go into the ark. You, your sons, your wife, and your son's wife with you. Let me tell you, child of God, 
Your work with God is affecting your relationship and everyone that is connected to you. Your work with God is affecting your family. If not for anything, leave, make sure you are strengthening your work with God because of your family. Let's take account of Job in Job chapter 1. God tells Satan, have you considered my servant Job? As I say, God, does Job fear you for nothing? Have you placed a hedge around him? A hedge around his household? A hedge around all he owns? It was, it was one man's grace, Job, that was giving covering to his children. How do I know? When Satan finished negotiation with God concerning Job, and God permitted Satan to touch Job, but don't take his life. Immediately, that grace of covering was withdrawn. What was covering his children? <laughs> disappeared. His children were swallowed up in one day. You don't know. You don't know the kind of grace you are carrying. You don't know. You don't know what the grace you are carrying is is causing for your family. If they withdraw that grace one day, your family may collapse. And I pray for you in this new month. This grace is coming heavily upon you. Your family shall be preserved. In the name of Jesus Christ. Quickly and lastly, what was the secret of grace in the life of Job? What was the secret? Number one, being different. Job was different from others. Job was, was not involved in the, in the iniquitous act and the wicked night that was going on. He was different. You must seek to be different if you must carry on common grace. When you are not different, you carry what others carry. But if you want to enjoy grace that is, that is unusual, you must live an unusual life. If you are not different from them, it is not possible for God to do something different for you. Job was different. His refusal to bow to societal influence attracted the grace in the days. So, seek to be different in this new month. Set the pace and let the world keep. And number two, and the last. It was because of job decision to please God in character and in lifestyle. Seek to please God in this season, in character and in lifestyle. It's, we have few things we saw. It was a life of difference. And it was a decision to please God in character and in lifestyle. I speak to your life. In this season, in this new moon, you shall enjoy all your grace. All your grace is falling upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ.